Seeing as I gave away my nuts, I just walked by this woman here who also sells nuts and she said, Compra, compra. Hola. Quiero probar algunos noto. Quiero probar todos. ¿Es posible? ¿Me vas a comprar? Com yeah, compra. Yo compra. Yeah. Todos, todos. ¿Cuánto? Yeah. ¿Cuánto? Uno, uno bag. Uh, uno. Una libra. Una libra. Es así una libra. Sí. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto Mis, costa? Todo, todo. Todos. Algunos. 12 bolivianos. Little bit. 12. 12 bolivianos. 5, 5, 10 y 2 pesos más. 5, 5. Son 10 bolivianos. Ok, maybe. 10, 2 pesos más. Here, here, here. Maybe you can write that down. Here. 12 y 2 bolivianos más. Ah, 121. <laughs> yeah? 1 to 1. 12 y 2 bolivianos más. 2 bolivianos más. 12. 2, mm. aquí, aquí, 2, 2. 2. Like that. 20. No. No? no. no. Más, más. Sí. Más. 1 y 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I want to sample, like, kind of a little bit of everything. But, it, but it's not so important for me, like, how much, like the weight and so on. I just want okay. to try a little bit of everything. Okay. How, how much does it cost? Yeah. Lo que él quiere es llevarse una muestra de cada uno, un poquito de Por cada eso, uno. Por eso, una medio kilo. Pero es que ellos. no tanto. Quiere llevar así un poquito de algo y que tú le hagas un cobro por que lleve. Entonces, seis bolivianos. Valor de seis bolivianos. Six bolivians. Six bolivians. Yes. Okay, o sea, please, yes. Seis bolivians. O sea, él quiere agarrar un poquito de cada uno sí, y probar sí. nada más. No okay. se va a llevar una lista. <laughs> A nice man came here to help me and translate. No. Thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. So six Bolivian. She will give me a little bit of everything, yeah? Quiere tener un poquito de cada uno. Probar. Así como una muestrita de cada uno. ¿Está bien? Por eso seis Bolivianos. Yeah, seis Bolivianos. Six Bolivian. Six Bolivians. Okay. Yes, please. Sí, por favor. Esto? Sí, un poquito. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. She don't have to give me a lot. Solo un poquitito, dice. Less than that is okay too. Puede ser incluso menos que eso. Menos que eso, dice. Quiere solo probar, un poquito menos, menos, menos. I just want a sample to taste what it is claro, like. Solo quiere probar. Wow, that's a lot. She's giving es, me es, so much. Eso es mucho, eso es mucho. <laughs> She's very nice. Sí. <laughs> es así un poquitito de cada uno, ¿no? Para probar. Es. What is, what are, what are these things? What are these, for example? Esto que es. Yeah, maíz, maíz. Maíz, maíz. Yes. Ah. ¿Es esta de todos o de...? ¿Do you eat this at all or is no. it for...? Yes, yes. I eat it. This, this nut. But the other ones, yes. Hay esto, hay esto y... Sí, sí. ¿Sí? Yes. Whatever you want to give me, I'll try. De todo va a probar. Es solo para probar. I can do it for you. Here, here, here. <laughs> here we go. Es así un poquitito de cada uno. Throw it in the same bag. It's okay. Sí, a la misma bolsa. ¿Ahora esto? Sí, sí. Un poquito de cada uno. Está Whoa, she's, Mucho, dice. she's trying to make me overdose on nuts. Sí. <laughs> ahora, esto? No, this one I already tried, yeah. Sí, this is no. fine, this is fine. Eso está this perfecto. is perfecto. Okay. Thank you so much, oh, sir. Ahí está, seis bolivianos. Seis bolivianos. Okay. Let me see what treasures we have. I'm not sure what we have. Eso. It's okay. Para ti. It's okay. Gracias. 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 Bye bye. Gracias a usted. Bye bye. Ah, uh, wow. Well, I'm getting things done, even though it's, uh, even if it's in a cumbersome, kind of embarrassing fashion. But that's what I do. Uh, I like to give you guys the unfiltered, unedited look to give you an idea of what it is like to be a, a, uh, a guy who knows nothing and walking around here. But uh, I am on my way to the, uh, where they sell those dead llamas. If you're wondering why anyone would... Uh, well, a llama is the national animal here. Uh, so why would dead llamas be a thing? 
a dead llama fetus and they only use llamas that are stillborn or uh, from miscarriages uh, oh, like here like here for example if you're wondering why this is a thing apparently it brings good luck so under the foundation of every house in Bolivia they put a dead llama for good luck and spiritual reasons before they start building and constructing but I know a place that have more more llamas than this ah here we go there are the dried up fetuses <coughs> I am going to bring one of these back for for Mr. Bald maybe put a a dead llama fetus in his uh, in his um, bed Quanto costa? Ciento? <coughs> hmm. Not the most eager of, of saleswomen, but that's that's kind of how they are here, especially when I'm when I'm filming, and uh, it's, it's understandable. Well, nice uh, another drink, lady. If you're wondering why it is like that, why why do some people look at me like they don't want to sell, or like they aren't even vendors themselves when I come? One, they're very skeptical with the camera here, understandable. And two, tourism here is, is almost non-existent. I mean, it's in its infancy. There is no tourism here, really. I haven't run into any other tourists apart from in my... Uh, in my uh... Hola! Hello? How are you? Como esta? Bien, gracias. Where are you going? No entiendo. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> they were waving at me from the, from the car, so... Yeah, tourism is in its infancy. Things are things are just starting out, and uh, it's hard to know how to relate to these crazy uh, Westerners wandering around speaking in tongues like I do. So have to be a bit uh, forgiving. Don't uh, I know I know the uh, comment section can be very very unforgiving. Actually, it is almost always very unforgiving. But I'm in a place, even though it's the capital, that uh, really doesn't see much tourism at all. Okay, here we go. Here's a pretty, here's a pretty big shop with a lot of dead llamas. I don't think these are for eating, though. But we can, uh, we can, um, we can ask. Trabajas aquí? No. Ah, trabajas aquí? No. No. Well, who works here then? Hello. I guess nobody. It's just a, a shop full of dead llamas, and nobody, nobody's selling them. There's more of them down here. Let's try again. Also, there's um, there's a way to speak Spanish politely, and there is a way to just try to ramble on uh, like I do. And apparently, my Spanish, I know the things kind of saying "quiero," I want. You know, it's it's, it's impolite. A Spanish person or a, someone from South America would never do that. But I simply don't know how to speak. Uh, politely so yeah it is what it is here's more llamas I think I walked here yesterday with Bolt ah oh. where well, was the shop we went into hola Oh, this looks like a proper llama store. Trabajas aquí? No. No? Who works here? Por qué? Por qué? Uh, quiero. Quiere. Quiero comprar llama para comer. <laughs> Not for eating, she says. Uh, ¿Cuánto costa llama? ¿Cuánto costa? Uno. ¿Cuánto costa? No sé, no sé. They don't know. But I want to buy one. No photos. Oh. Okay. Well, if no photos, how can I have a sale? <laughs> Apparently, buying a dead llama carcass is harder than I thought. Here's one shop that sells a lot of them. Tiny ones. Hola. ¿Cuánto costa? 
Uno, lama. 300. 300. So I can buy a, a damn it. Should I scare bold with one of these? E uh eta? Like, like the, the small one, pequeño. Hmm. Let's see, let me use the Like that? Forty. Forty, fifty. Forty, fifty for these ones. And these ones? No, quanto, quanto? Forty, fifty, sixty, amigo. Oh, it's fifty. Let me see about that. 40, 50, just for a small one. Okay, let me have a think about that then. Gracias, gracias. I will have to look. I think it's too much just for a small one. How much? I mean 30. For 30 for a pequeño. And the grande? This is 300, 400. And you can go cheaper? 100? I mean. For 100? 200. 200 is your last price. 200 is your last price? For this one? So I can get this one for 200. Esto. 200. 250. 250? Oh, come on, 200. 250. <laughs> Let me see what that is. It's for protection house, protection for good luck, happiness, mm. uh, protection personal. Protection? Personal uh -huh. for everything. Yes, sí, porque por offering por Pachamama. Okay, let me see what that is. Mm -hmm. Bolivar to USD. Cuánto dólar? Dólar. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Bolivian. Bolivian. Bolivianos. Bolivian. Okay, so what you're saying? Two hundred. <coughs> 200 Yeah. For this one? How much for this one? 240. 200. 230. 200. Yeah. 220. 200. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay, apparently I'm buying a llama for 30 bucks. I'm gonna put it in Bolt's bed and uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, bonita. Esto. Wow, what a cutie. <laughs> 200, yes. Wonder how they're gonna pack my llama. Let's see. Well, let's let's follow in here for some. Let me hold this here. Since this is my first llama purchase. Oh, there we go. Two hundred. What? Okay. País Noruega. Soy Noruega. What a weird god. I like him. Para, para que? Año de perro. Año de perro. The year of the dog. Según el horóscopo wow. chino. Según el horóscopo chino. Según el horóscopo chino. Según el horóscopo chino. Um, for the horóscopo chino. Es el 2018. <coughs> era, eh, ahora es 2019. Año del chancho. Okay. Ahora es el año pasado, 2018, era año del perro. The, the year of the dog. <laughs> I wonder if they know that I am a friend of dog, god of pig. World is going to be uh, mighty impressed with my llama purchase, I think. Ah, that's how she is. Parati.
Muchas gracias. Good luck. Bye bye. Well, I guess I was able to procure a dead llama anyway. You see, I was buying a llama. You told me no. Uh, she's still rambling on about the photos. Well, but as you know, if you allow me to film, I'm willing to pay 10 times the normal price of what a uh, another tourist would be willing to. So, where well, she was still yelling at me for filming, well, the shop next to them made $30. Now, exactly, damn, it kind of smells a bit. Exactly what they pay for these llama fetuses or dead llamas, I don't know. But rest assured, it sure as hell ain't $30. No way. Maybe, maybe I have one more purchase in me for the day. They have some beautiful carpets here. Some beautiful, I, I guess you call this a, a pacho. I would like to, I would like to, um, to get one of those. But let me, my hotel is actually right around the corner. I'm gonna throw my dead llama in Bald's bed and then I'm coming back for a, a pacho. See you then. All right, this is funny. I, Boulders texted me. He's coming home. Uh, he's allergic to furry animals. Uh, and <laughs> I put little Jeffrey here, Jeffrey Gundlach, as I named him, in, um, in Bold's bed. And uh, he is going to go. We'll see. I don't know. He's not going to be happy. I'm hoping that he'll go bananas. But uh, okay, I'm obviously going to. Just, just act like, uh, like nothing. I'm uploading a video for you guys. Actually, that is what I'm doing. But uh, let's see what happens. Maybe we get an epic uh, copper rage, or uh, you know, the real bald and bankrupt behind the scenes. You see this calm and collected man, you know, jovial and happy, and nothing antagonizes him. Well, let's see if he can, uh, if he can handle a dead llama in his bed. Bald. Dude, How's the market? Oh, shut it. <laughs> I swear to God, just walking up that street at the end just killed me. Get any good footage? Um, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of. Like, let me set my shoes on. Like, I mean, um, you know, I was up in here last time. Me, destroyed. Yeah, kind of. Like, oh, I'll tell you about this. You took the cable cart up to the plateau? Yeah, it's worth doing. It's, it's bloody scary. Um, you're not bothered about that high as like I am. But fuck me, you go over these things and you're just thinking to yourself like, thank God, it's not, um... What it cost? <laughs> the fuck is that in my bed? What, it's Jeffrey. Who the fuck is Jeffrey? It's what Jeffrey Gundlach. Hey, leave, hey, leave him alone. It's a llama. Why is there a dead fucking yarm in my bed? Well, because he needed a place to stay. Dude, 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 seriously though, bloody hell, you know I'm allergic. Oh man, it's all f dead llama fur. Hey! No, no, <laughs> no, 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 seriously, seriously, I, I paid 30 bucks for him. You just put him in my bed? Listen, listen. What's his name? Jeffrey, Jeffrey Gundlach. Jeffrey, he was nice knowing you, I'm sure he had a nice short life. Listen, listen, no, 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 I'll take him, I'll take him. I'll take him out somewhere then. Fuck's sake, dude, seriously, I've got to sleep in this bed. Yeah, but can't Jeffrey sleep with you? Listen, when you said you'd have something warm and furry for me to cuddle up to tonight. Yeah, how is Jeffrey not warm and furry? I thought you meant a Boliviano chick, but... Let's swap beds. No. Why don't you take Jeffrey out the room before I throw him out the bloody... Hey, hey, leave, leave Jeffrey alone. Seriously. Oh, Jeffrey stinks. There's a kind of a ascent right. to Jeffrey, but... Bed has been commandeered. Fuck's sake. Well, he took, he took, that, he took that much better than, I, than I'd expected. Can Jeffrey stay in the bathroom with your love soap? No. Let's put him here. It's Jeffrey's new home with the amor sexo dinero yeah, passion. Like giving my soap. There we go. Jeffrey is now official guardian of the love soap. Oh man. Oh, I really broke my nose. Good night, Jeffrey. Well, I thought you were gonna go mental over that. No, but the day is coming to an end. And I'm gonna pick up my same day laundry. I 
Before I started filming this morning, I came here, gave them two shirts, two boxers, a normal long sleeve shirt that you saw me with at the gym this morning, and two pairs of socks. And the grand total of my bill was 10. I have the proof here, 10 pesos. Here. Which comes out to, oh, damn, uh, catching my breath here, which comes out to a buck. Hola. 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 regreso. <laughs> there you go. This is the greatest laundry in all of La Paz. How do you say laundry in... Uh... Como se dice laundry, español? Lavanderia. Lavanderia. Mm -hmm. Número uno, lav lavanderia, La Paz. Aquí. Gracias. <laughs> Here we go, boxers. And two, two proper shirts like this for, uh, for a buck. Thank you so much. Gracias. Bye bye. Ciao. Um, the reason I, I went to this laundry as opposed to the one right outside my hotel is that you have to be careful with laundry here apparently. As I walked out of the hotel and into the laundry shop right opposite it, a French woman asked me, you're here for the laundry? I said, yes. And she said, please don't do your laundry here. She was there to complain to the manager that they had basically lost all her underwear. Uh, okay, she was kind of hot. Can't really blame them for wanting to, to keep it, but uh, at the end of the day, she was paying to have it cleaned, not stolen. So, uh, Geraldo, no approvo. So, again, a video a bit all over the place. Now it's back to the hotel, which is at the bottom of this street. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a market hunt slash competition with Bald. Uh, maybe I'll bring my, uh, my new friend, Jeffrey Gundlach, the uh, dead llama fetus. We'll see. Burundi.